guys, it's John from Robin Hood Gaming, and um, today I'm going to do another Fraps tutorial, as you can see. Um, it's been a while since I did one of these. I actually completely forgot about these this little series I was doing. I was going to show you guys how to fix a whole bunch of problems and whatever, and I totally forgot I was doing it. So, um, yeah, so today I'm going to show you some more stuff on how to do this. Um, today, this issue we're going to address is going to be how to record game sounds and your microphone at the same time. Um, a lot of people complain that they can't do this, they don't know how to do this. <clears throat> so I'm going to show you, in my opinion, what is the easiest way to do it and the most effective way to do it. So, First of all, you have to open up Fraps. Obviously, I've got it open here. Just um, If you don't have it open, you Okay. Sure. Uh, I'll start right from the beginning, just so you guys can see double click the icon <laughs> alright here we are so go to the movies tab and um, obviously to record any sound you're gonna have to have this little button checked here um, and um, so now this involves a lot of um, or it's gonna involve using your stereo mixer so I have what is called SoundMax HD audio and for some reason it's not in my little tab there so I'm gonna go find it just give me a sec oh there it is Okay, so here's my sound mixer. Um, another common sound mixer most people, I know most people have uh, Realtek HD audio, but I use what is called SoundMax HD audio. And whatever, it doesn't matter, you can use whatever sound mixer you want, they all work basically the same with some differences. So um, first of all, the first thing you gotta do is set it up so you're recording audio from your sound mixer. So. You have to, there's a whole bunch of Houdini magic involving uh, setting your sound mixers, your default playback device, and different things like that. And I might show you how to do that later. But it's, if you have a Realtek HD audio or any uh, of those other sound mixers like this one here, SoundMax, or any others, it should pretty much already be your default when you turn on your computer. So um, you have two options here: use the Windows input or detect the best sound input. So it, depending on what you have, it have your settings as just go back and forth until you find which one is your sound mixer. Mine, see it's a stereo mix, SoundMax HD audio, which is here, SoundMax. Uh, this other one is my microphone, the microphone I'm using to record right now. Um, so if you just record this, it'll just record your microphone and nothing else. So you don't want this, you want this. <coughs> okay, so once you have this good, um, that's pretty much all you need, so I'm gonna put that down. Now um, I'm gonna, uh, there's another uh, Actually, I'll bring this back up for a second. There's another, um, some more things I'm gonna, I need to talk about for audio, but I'm gonna save that for another episode just because it might make this one kind of long, and this one might go kind of long already. Anyway, getting back. So there are two ways to record um, your audio and your mic. The first way is it's not really the way I recommend. I don't do it. Uh, I looked into it, but honestly. There's a whole lot of stuff you'd have to go through. There's a whole bunch of uh, crazy settings you have to play with to get right. And um, it's honestly better to do it the other way. So the first way is to record your game sounds and your audio in the same file. Um, like I said, that's not really the best way to do it. And I'll tell you why. So if you were to record your voice and your game sounds together, um, you have no way to, for example, say your voice was too loud or too quiet in the recording, or your game sounds were too loud and your voice was too quiet. You have no way to turn your voice up and your game sounds down or adjust that without going through some sort of crazy audio editing or whatever. So it's better to record, and this is the second way, to record your voice separate and then your game sounds separate and then put them together in whatever editing software you use. Um, there's a bunch of different softwares you can use. I got Movie Maker, or I mean, uh, sorry, that's Vegas Pro, that's the one I use. There's Windows Movie Maker, right? Uh, it's in here somewhere. I'm probably I'm just blind out oh, right here. <laughs> Windows Movie Maker. There's a whole bunch of editing, there's free things you can do whatever you want. But um, there's tons of ways to do. It. So anyway, yeah, you can. Rec there's a bunch of settings to play with. You have to go into your audio settings and render a whole bunch of things as default. Um, and uh, but the my way in the easiest, in my opinion, it's the easiest way. For some computers, it might be set up already. But in my opinion, the easiest way is to record your voice separate and your game sounds separate. So then you can adjust the volumes. It gives you more control and um, the whole the whole deal. So um, this is what I use here. This is a program called Audacity. I'll put the link in the descriptions right here. Um, and uh, so basically um, 
this is the download screen, so if you go to the website, it'll just be this, and then you go, okay, I want to download it, and then you can pick here, but I'll just put this download one right here. So you pick your, if you're running um, Apple or Mac, you click that one. If you're running Linux, you go there, but I'm running Windows right now, obviously. So you click that, and you go, yes, recommended download. I want to download this. Actually, unless, I don't know if you want to try this. I've never tried the beta. So um, it says it's best for, Vin for Windows 7. So if you're Windows 7, you might want to try that. I'm XP, so I'm just going to go like this and go uh, download like that. And you'd save the file and then nah, 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 go downloading. And um, you don't have to use Audacity. You can use whatever um, voice recording program you want. You can, like I said, there's tons of, uh, tons of different things out there. Sorry about that. Tons of different things out there to play with and whatever. So, um, but if you want to use Audacity, it's what I use. It's pretty great. You can use it for tons of other cool things too. So once you have that, you just go OK, run, and it'll install. And you'll basically install it. But I already have it installed, so yes, I'll exit set up. But once you have it installed, you should probably have, uh, unless you said no, you'll have an icon on your desktop like this. And this is what your program looks like. This is Audacity right here. So once you have it installed, you open it up, and this is what you have. So uh, to record your voice, um, you can test your microphone if you click here, click it off. So there, there's my microphone right now. You can kind of see it jumping and going back and forth as I talk and do, 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 see? So there's the audio test. Um, there's also a speaker test one, but it won't play anything because I don't have anything playing. Um, so anyway, to record your voice, you hit the little record button. And as you can see, it'll record as I talk. And it might be lagging a little bit, but that's just because I'm recording the screen as I'm doing this. So if, then if you hit pause, um, it'll pause it. You can actually go uh, unpause, and it'll start recording again. Now, if you hit stop, that'll finish the recording. And if you hit record again, it'll actually record audio over it. And then you'll hear this as it records and all that stuff. So you can exit your tracks. And you can actually do audio editing and everything with this. So um, here, I'll just give you a little tip. So once you record your voice, you have your voice all recorded and whatever you need, and you hit stop, what you need to do is hit File, Export as WAV, uh, and pick a spot to save. So you want to pick a spot wherever you want to save it. Uh, I have mine in my media disk, Fraps file. And then you name it whatever you want. So if you go Save, there, now it's saved. I can go, meh, meh, no, no, thank you. So now if I open up my media disk here, and I go to Fraps, here's my little audio file. That's what I just recorded right now. And uh, what you can do with this is, you uh, well, you obviously run Fraps at the same time. So you'd have your Fraps up, uh, sorry, your settings. You'd have your Fraps up, and you'd hit record on Fraps. And where's Audacity again? I have so much crap on my desktop. <clears throat> and so you basically you'd hit record and then you'd start recording with fraps and then afterwards you would hit stop export as wave and then you'd match it up on the video to look pretty close or as close as you can get it right anyway and am I freezing up at all a little, uh, a little bit well, that's okay though anyway so uh, once you have that all done you can throw it together in whatever editing program you're using uh, oh no um, no I guess I wasn't freezing up you can throw it together in movie maker uh, I use Vegas Pro. You can do whatever you want um, with that, and then that's all you need. And like I said, the nice thing about doing it this way is you can you have tons of little options to play with. Like you can turn up the voice on your, or turn up the volume on your voice, or turn it down, or turn the the game sounds volume up, or the game sounds down. And I'll give you a tutorial that with that in Vegas someday. Um, not right now. This is just a little quick thing I'm doing. Might not be so quick, but. Anyway, um, so yeah, I guess that's all you need. And uh, the next tutorial will cover um, fuzziness in the audio with Fraps. How to, like when you record game sounds and or voice or whatever you want, it, this audio might sound fuzzy sometimes. Um, I'll show you how to fix that and how to get good clear audio. And um, yeah, I guess that's it. All right, guys, thanks, John from Robinhood Gaming, and I'll see you later.